Hello, mother foxes. Fox Vita here in the meeting place of s Snowy. Look, you guys, I thought of something, and Snowy is gonna become a dad. Hi. I killed your godparents, grandparents. I don't know how to say this, but you can be someone's father. Come on, let's try to find a flower to change your color to. It's gonna be blue. You're Snowy Jr. I'll protect you. You avenge, you will avenge your father for me too. Lots of things happen. I can tell you like every single story. But your dad perhaps will appreciate you listening. So, yeah. Come on. Having a new dog is gonna take some progress of healing and heartbreak. But I think it'll go through that very well. Cause you never knew him. I knew everything about him. We were connected and we we travel together twenty four seven. You don't know how close we are, but we're very close. He killed his first enemy, second, then third. Everything about him was superior. My Snowy. Your father. He died for the best fight. He died protecting me. I tried to heal him, which was a success and a fail at the same time. But can you blame me? I protected him. He protected me. We were supposed to do two different things. We were still close to, with each other, but who can tell? Who can tear us apart? In case you're wondering where we're going, I'm trying to find you. I'm trying to find a blue flower to get your color blue. Or should it just be pink? I don't know if your father wanted a girl or a boy, but I adore having boy dogs. It's a lot of things to take in right now. <sighs> well, if I could perhaps make something, I would make it out of, I need ink for gray. Since your dog, your dad, had a white collar. You're gonna have a gray one. I know it's two different colors, but at least you guys will be at least closer. It's gonna take me a while to get this ink sack. I'm gonna have to swim all the way down here. Uh, or maybe not. You can find another squid, right? Perhaps I can swim, okay, no, 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 no go on that show, it's so dark down there. Looks like there's another one. Where are you swimming to? I think I killed your mom, my bad. My dog died. It's not your bad, it's mine. Why am I blaming myself 
over and over again for my own dog's death. Yes! But anyway, enough. I think you would love to hear more about your dad. Come on. Maybe your dad liked swimming too. I think he tried off in the same way or style. Who, who knows? At least I have you, Snowy Jr. Your dad was. Your dad was a great man. Very, very. Non listening, but he was a great man. He saved my life. He saved me no matter what the cause. Your dad, your dad should inspire you. He inspired me. Inspired me to do what you may ask. He didn't inspire me to do anything. I was just inspired to keep on moving because I had him by my, behind my back 24-7. Any time, we would go kill the mobs like that time. He kept protecting me from all these gillies. He tried to kill a witch for me because he knew that witch hurt me. Even though I could have been fine, I couldn't get close to him to heal him. He was hurting. He was dying. Why then just run away to protect them? I wanted to really protect them, which was fight. Fight the mobs. Just because those mobs killed Snowy doesn't mean anything. I'll avenge him. I'll avenge his death. I'll avenge everything of him. I'll avenge his life. And I'll avenge his son that was abandoned. I'll avenge him for everything he avenged, he avenged me for. He protected me for. I'll avenge him for that. Oh. I just, just need time to heal. Having a new dog. Even though it is Snowy Jr. Snowy is still my dog 24 7. <laughs> I might be boring you with this story, aren't I, Snowy Jr.? Talking all about your dad. You might be proud. Him and I were close. A dog, a girl, <laughs> idiotic, you may say. I'm like that buck you was barking out loud. <laughs> <sighs> but he was always special to me. He fully understood how I felt. This is our home. The home I took him to. The home I'm taking you to now. I decided to let your family live. They're gonna miss you, perhaps. But... I gotta show you something. I gotta show you one thing. Your father. Your father protected me. And he looks up to you. And he looks up to you to make sure that you become out to be a great man. We'll find you a girlfriend. And perhaps you guys can be like lovers, lovers and everything. You guys can be together. This is where your father lived. He was a great man. A lawyer man. The best man.
I love you, Snowy Jr. I will protect you. We'll avenge your father. We'll avenge his death. Exactly what your father did. Chase out the creepers knowing that they didn't even hit me. <sighs> well, you gotta be exactly like him. What you got so following in his footsteps? You remind me so much of him. Too much of him. If I just had one, one wish, one wish that I would say grant or something. I wish your father was still alive. Snowy, come here. I loved you, but now looking in the face of your son, I'll forever miss you. Come on, where are you going? <laughs> Come here, it's over here. This is the place where your father died. I wanted to bury him near where I lived, not over here. Even though, let's collect some flowers. It will be a nice, peaceful place. I still have that one flower, don't I? <laughs> I guess I don't. By the way, I checked. I have a lot of arrows. I should start using that bow. Your father perhaps wouldn't die because of that. But look, you may get your chance of killing your first enemy. <laughs> Not only your paps. <laughs> yeah, I can understand you're very happy. We should stay in the cave for a while. Even though we've been walking, it feels like years. A million miles to me. Everything falling apart. Everything not holding together. You understand, right? At least I hope you do. My father was a lovely man. But I only wish one thing. I wish I could have kept him alive. <sighs> I think we should really move out of that house. It'll be a nice change. It's just where your father lived for I don't know how long. Not that long. <sighs> yeah, yeah, you might be like, come on ladies, let's stop talking about my pops or something like that. But I can hear it in your tongue. Actually proud that he abandoned you for a reason. <laughs> we'll build next to the village. I wanna be closer to Snowy as possible. Why move so far away? Why move so far away from the birthplace where I brought Snowy first? Let's try out this bow. Ready? I don't think my shooting's good. Uh, I missed. Ooh, nice. <laughs> Score isn't that nice. I know, I know, not to brag, but I am 
I think I'm the best shooter around. Am I right? Hmm? The best shooter around. I'm the only one. Everybody counts. Everybody comes to me to make sure everything's fine. And everything is peaceful enough. <laughs> and the one I count on. <laughs> you too. Here you go. You don't have a partner. Well, come here. We have a There we go. So I think you guys will be already even, but who cares? <sighs> Let's see. Where should we live? Right next to the village? Maybe. Your dog? I mean, <laughs> not your dog. <laughs> Who's mine? Your father was a lovely, lovely man. Now it just sounds like I married him. Hmm. Looks like I made the place a bit more dirt around here, don't I? Every single time I post a video is every time I put a flower down. To show how much I miss that reckless little dog, Snowy. That wonderful pet that I always had with me. Come on, so Junior. No saying goodbye isn't hard. Well, it is hard, but sometimes it isn't. Sometimes you just may not know him, which you definitely know him by name, perhaps. Even though you'd know him by name, it doesn't really matter, does it? It never really does matter. Just doing something important means a lot. Being there for your dad, or not being there for your dad, is gonna be fine, okay, Snowy? Oh my gosh, really, really? So, anyway, Snowy, we need a nice place to live at. We're gonna have to make a storage outside the house. We'll, we'll have the cows, we'll have the sheep, we'll have the pigs. We'll also have a farm place. We'll make sure this place is grassy too. For Snowy. The best dog. Let's start building. I build in cobblestone. Snowy didn't know about that about me, but I know he's watching me from the heavens above. Well, I'm at the cobblestone. Looks like we need to go mining. Good thing I have a little mining place to mine at. Yeah, my pickaxe is down, but I don't want to. I don't want to make a new one yet. Not yet. Maybe not ever. Ha! <laughs> I know. Weird, right? Not making me a new pickaxe could pretty much send things down for me. Downhill. <laughs> yeah. I'm digging it with a carrot. Don't start complaining. Why? I just do. Man. Hey. I kind of was worried. He came back down, so I won't be that worried. I may have not said this to your face, but you don't know.
I love you, Snow Jr. Well, guys, that's all the time I have for this. Let's go inside. Let's have a structure be there, hey, pink sheep. Anyway, I really hope you guys enjoyed. No, he, he's so clumsy. He's always holding to water. <laughs> well, now I can say something good about you when you ch children grow up. <laughs> I wish I had some food. Mm, looks like I'm low. I'll be back, Snowy. Oh, sorry. I'll be back, Snowy Jr. <laughs> I keep forgetting the junior part. He just reminds me so much of his father. But this time, I want him to be something. Guys, guys, move. Guys, move. Guys, move. Guys, I'm trying to... Thank you. I want him to be... Really? I want him to be something special. Okay. Could you... Oh, God. Oh, God. It's going to be... Okay, okay. Whew. That was close. <laughs> Better not stay out here for too long. I should really go inside. Yo, Snowy! I got something. <laughs> anyway, here. This is all the time I got. Goodbye, everybody. I'm Foxy the Love. I love you. Hope and peace out. Hope I see you in the next video. Bye.